Ever wonder what it was like to just be free? To adventure and explore without the white picket fence, the eight to five, and to throw away the golden handcuffs? Well, we did. So we bought a 1980 Downeaster Cutter that had been neglected for decades, sailed her up north, rounding Point Conception, and making her way to her new home port on the central coast of California. We've been fixing her up and prepping her for blue water cruising ever since. Follow along our journey, leave us a comment, and if you like, press subscribe and hit that notification bell. With new episodes every Thursday, tune in weekly to watch our adventures towards hopefully becoming full-time cruisers. Thanks for watching! Last week on board Mundial, I was sick in bed with COVID, and Grant was left to work on the boat. We finally started painting the boat after months in the boatyard. One of our best friends, Katie, was in town, so she helped Grant paint the bootstripe. Well, good morning. Back at the boat yard again. And today we're gonna do a few things. We need to take all the through holes out that are holding the backing blocks in place. Because now they're all set in epoxy. We gotta bed the through holes with some 4200. To start with bedding the through holes, we first had to remove the through holes that we had set in place to help with bedding the backing blocks. The seacocks and the through holes were set in place to help align the backing blocks last week. Thanks Craig for that tool. Craig's our boat neighbor. Really helped, especially with this through hole. It's a smooth style, it doesn't have a, the little um, dogs inside of it. So you need a tool like this in order to install them or take them out. I did this to a few already, so I have an acetone soap rag. Black the backing plate real well. Take a little sandpaper. Scrap the surface. There's a little chamfer for sealant, which I like. I like that idea. Just, just scuff that a little bit. Just give it a little more tooth. Take our pipe dope. Probably could get away with just putting dope on the male side, but take the acetone, I'm just gonna wipe. So we pipe dope just at the tip where the threads are gonna be. And I did this T plus two pipe thread sealant. It's a uh, most expensive, it's not that expensive, I think it's six bucks, but more expensive than just generic. Probably way more than we need, but let's fill that chamfer. It's gonna squeeze out. Now, carefully screw it up there without attempting to not touch the... What we don't see here is Grant running up the stairs into the boat about 15 times to make sure the backing block bolts were loose on the seacock so he could easily thread the through hole in. So now that it's threaded and I've got a good few turns on it, I'm gonna go above and lock that down and then come back. Okay, found that this fits perfectly. one more gallon of paint to put on our last coat of bottom paint and this is the first time I've seen the boat oh my god it's blue it looks like a brand new boat wow let me see, show you wow it's the first time I've seen the boat since before I had COVID Grant is home with COVID right now and we had one more coat of paint to put on before we could get restood, which is why I'm here because I finally feel 100% and I am gonna do the paint by myself. I've never done it before, but 
hopefully I can do it. Seems to be the theme of this haul out, like me doing something for the first time and hoping I do it right. <laughs> okay, stay tuned. If you haven't yet, you're going to want to hit subscribe so you don't miss Mundial finally getting her belly wet, hopefully in the next week or two. And while you're here, check out this episode. It's one of our favorites. Thanks, and we'll see you next week. Maybe. You ready, hun? It binds up, just stop. Too small. Got it, hon. This may be our last Christmas tree for a while, so here is our little Charlie Brown Christmas tree that I chopped down with Grant the other day. Thank you, Mary, for letting us go onto your property and chop down one of your cypress trees. Um.